All right, then. If you are both ready... Begin. Ah! Leap her again! Huh? Ah! What is that? It's sand. That's an unusual jutsu. So that's what he's got in that gourd. That. Is that all you can do? <clears throat> sand coffin! <clears throat> Sandaria! That nightmare. Not again. A sand manipulating jutsu, hmm? It will not be easy getting through that. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. To him. The sand! He's using it as a shield! He's not doing it. The sand is protecting him of its own accord. Huh? It's almost like a living thing. It'll come to Gara's defense without his doing anything. That's why Gara's never been injured. No one can get at him. No one's ever even been able to touch him. It. He's not moving a muscle. Well, is that all? I hope you haven't finished entertaining me. We haven't had enough. Blood. He's only using Taijutsu. Can't he see that's never going to work? Why doesn't he get some distance and use Ninjutsu? Yes, that might be a good idea. That is, if he had any. Huh? Lee has no Ninjutsu or Genjutsu skills at all. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. You should have seen how hopeless he was when I first met him. No talent whatsoever. Really? I can't believe it. A ninja who can do neither ninjutsu or genjutsu is certainly a rarity. Lee has only his taijutsu to rely on. Some might consider that a disadvantage. But that's what makes him a winner. Huh? All right, Lee. Take him off. Uh, what guy sensei? You said that was only as a last resort when the lives of very important people were at stake. That's right, I did. But this is an exception. Really? Really? Uh, huh? Are those? How old-fashioned? Lightweights? Basic training equipment. Totally cool! Totally dumb. Ah, uh, that is better. Now I will be able to move freely. Come on, you really think you'll be able to get through Gara's defenses just by dropping a couple of pounds of weight? 
Guy, you are too much. All right, now go! Yes, sir! I could see that Lee had no aptitude for ninjutsu or genjutsu. So he skipped them and focused all of his time and energy into developing his taijutsu. That way we turned his disadvantage into a blessing. Now he doesn't need those other things to win. Because he's transformed himself into the world's greatest taijutsu specialist. Been hurt. Impossible. Whoa, that's scary. And I thought he was quick on his feet before. He's been that fast all this time. Yes, Lee. Let the power of youth explode. Right. <sighs> Direct hit. He's just too quick. That sandstorm can't keep up with him. Lee, you nailed him! That's incredible. I've never seen anyone that fast. It makes me dizzy just trying to keep track of him. Uh-oh. Yeah! Oh, is right. Your friend with the eye makeup is getting the stuffing beaten out of him. That isn't what I was talking about, kid. This guy, his face is falling off! It's like a shell made of sand. Look, there's not a mark on the guy. That is so weird. He encased himself in sand, huh? Things must be bad. I haven't seen that look on his face for a long time. I knew it. I sensed him getting more and more unstable as the tuning exams progressed. As I thought, his inner demon has been awakened. I don't get it! Is he made of sand or what? All those blows and kicks Lee hit him with, did any of them get through? No. It's like he's wearing a suit of armor. A what? Ordinarily, those shifting clouds of sand are enough to shield him. But in the event the shield is penetrated, Gara can also wear the sand like armor as a last line of defense. This guy's too much! He's got armor now? Does he have any weak spots? Huh. If you only knew, kid. Actually, that armor is one big weak spot. Unlike the sand shield, the armor can be broken. And then there's the enormous amount of chakra that Gara has to use to keep it in place. That takes its toll. That's proof that Gara is feeling the pressure. He would never have resorted to the armor otherwise. This Lee is good, no doubt about it. But that's not the same as winning. It may not be as easy as we thought, but the outcome's a given. God, I can't lose. Well, is that all? Ah, my speed will not be enough. He is impossible to get at behind those sand defenses. But maybe, if I can get him up off the ground and away from the sand, then hit him hard from above with the Lotus. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 
Get ready! <laughs> That's right, Lee. Good work. That flimsy shield of sand won't protect it from your high-speed motors. What are you waiting for? Okay, you asked for it! Yeah. He's not floating! Try this! What an incredible series of kicks. Even an ordinary lotus puts an enormous strain on the body, let alone this. You've got to finish him off now! Now take this! Primary Lotus! It is over. I got him! Right on! <clears throat> Amazing! He really did it! No, I don't believe it. You did it! <laughs> Way to go, Lee! Is he? That guy isn't dead, is he? But how? When did he do it? It was when you closed your eyes to pray. Huh? At that moment, Lee closed his eyes too, because of the pain. That's when he did it. simple reason. He can't dodge them. Huh? Why is that? The Lotus is what you might call a double-edged sword. Wh what does that mean? You know that it's a forbidden technique. Why do you think that is? Well... The Lotus isn't ninjutsu or genjutsu. It's taijutsu requiring extreme physical effort. The strain it puts on the body is unimaginable. No one can sustain it for long. Right now, Lee is in so much pain he can hardly move at all. 
Isn't that right, guy? But... But that means... Much of that. There's no way he can win this. Win? He'll be lucky to survive. <sighs> Lee. <sighs> All right, you guys, keep it moving. You want to run 200 more laps? <laughs> Dummy, why bother? You'll never be a ninja. <laughs> Will too. There's no way a kid who can't even do ninjutsu can ever be a ninja. Yes, I can. Whatever. I don't get why you're even at this ninja academy when you can't do ninjutsu or genjutsu and you're even worse than average at taijutsu. It's idiotic. Hey, you know what everyone here is calling you, don't you? Dorkly! 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 Ah! Hey, Lee! Where are you going? Get back in line! So that's the no-talent overachiever I've heard so much about. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of someone. Mm -hmm. Especially around the eyebrows. <laughs> Rock Lee, the dork with nothing going for him but a little lousy taijutsu. <sighs> but you kept at it, didn't you? You kept practicing your little lousy taijutsu. 2,000 squats! 404! 405! 406! 407! 408! 409! 410! 411! Someone else is here. 12! 413! 414! 415! I'll come back later. 417! 418! If I cannot do a thousand squats, then it is a thousand punches! 795! 796! 797! 798! 799! He's still on it! If I cannot do two thousand punches, then I have to do two thousand jump ropes! You focused everything on your taijutsu, training relentlessly, until... As of today, you were all getting. So now tell me, why have you done it? What are your goals? Hmm? Oh, me, me, sensei, me! Yes, Tenten! I want to be a great and powerful ninja, to walk in the footsteps of the legendary Kunoichi Tsunade! I see. And you, Neji? I'd rather not say. How about me, Sensei? I want to show I can be a splendid ninja as well, even if I do not have ninjutsu or genjutsu. I want to prove it to the whole world! There's that look in his eye. <laughs> what? What is so funny? You think I am joking? I mean it! I will be a splendid ninja just by using taijutsu and nothing else! It's painful to watch. Why doesn't he give up? He should quit while he can. It was just bad luck he got Gara as an opponent. Huh? Come on, Bushy Brow! Lee. Lee, this is 
stupid. Why do you keep on doing it to yourself? Come on. You're never going to win against Neji because he's... Well, he's a genius. A genius, huh? What does that mean, genius? So I was not born with a whole lot of natural talent, not gifted like Neji. But I work hard and I never give up. That is my gift. That is my ninja way. It doesn't change a thing. <gasps> the sad fact is you'll never beat me. No matter how hard you work. No matter how many times you try. That is not true and you know it. It is not true. True or not, you didn't listen to them. You... you never gave up. Pity the kid. Gara will just toy with him till he begs for mercy. Well then, Gara's in for a long match because that will never happen. Huh? Lee doesn't know how to give up. <laughs> Lee will struggle on long after the point where anyone else would have quit. If I cannot do 1,200 without a mistake, then it is 2,000 kicks! 1,118, 1,119, 1,119! Lee! Ha <laughs> ha! Taking a break already? <gasps> what is it, Guy Sensei? If it is about my messing up on the last assignment, I said I was sorry. Lee, it's true you're different from Neji and the others. You have no gift for ninjutsu or genjutsu, and your taijutsu needs work. But then again, you have a gift that Neji doesn't have. Not as flashy, but perhaps even more important. You do not have to make me feel better. You idiot. You think I'd waste my time with that? No, all I'm saying is that you have the gift of perseverance. And that's what makes you a genius, too. <sighs> but is that true, Sensei? I wonder... Uh, I used to think so. I used to believe that if I just trained harder than Neji, two or three times harder, I would make myself strong enough. But now, I am not so sure. I do not know if I will ever be able to work hard enough to beat real talent. That is why I'm always taking on Neji. I keep thinking all of my efforts will pay off, but it is always the same. I am no match for him at all. Every time we have a ninja mission, my legs begin shaking. I do not know if I can take it. Sometimes it seems like the whole thing is pointless. Like I am a loser and I will always be a loser. I do not know what to do. You're right, all the effort is pointless. If you don't believe in yourself. <laughs> you know, Lee, we're a lot alike, you and I. You mean the eyebrows? Uh, no, I don't mean our eyebrows. You see, I was a loser too once. What? You were a loser? Oh, yes indeed. But I made myself the equal of any ninja, even Kakashi. And I did it through effort. You say you want to show the world you can be a splendid ninja, even if you don't have all the gifts that others are blessed with. 
That's your Nindo, your ninja way, right? Well, I think that's a fine goal. As fine a goal as I've ever heard, and one worth sticking to. <laughs> Don't let anything steer you off the path you've drawn for yourself. Forge ahead to the end. Stick to it, Lee. Make me proud. Be everything you can be. Will you do that for me, Lee? Yes, sir! Sensei, thank you. He can't go on. Make him quit before he gets himself killed. Bushy brow. Hmm. What? He's still able to move like that? I will make you proud, Sensei. I will forge ahead, follow my path to the end, and become the ninja I know I can be. Lee's smiling. He's running for his life, but he's still smiling. Yes, but now it's Gara's turn to run. <sighs> the Leaf Village Lotus blooms twice. I've heard that somewhere before. Yeah. Lee told me that! Sakura, the Lotus of the Leaf Village blooms twice. When we meet again, I will have become a stronger ninja. I promise. But, no, Guy, you didn't. Yes, Kakashi, I did. So that Genin, that boy, is able to open the eight inner gates and use the Hidden Lotus? Hidden Lotus? That's correct. Well, if that isn't the most... <sighs> okay, so then how many of the inner gates is he able to open now? Five gates. Okay, what exactly are these eight inner gates you're talking about? And the hidden lotus? The eight gates are like valves, or chakra limiters that must be opened if one is to release the hidden lotus. I'm still not following. There are gates along the chakra network, located at those points in the body where the chakra is most heavily concentrated. Starting at the head, they are the gate of opening, the gate of rest, of life, of pain, of closing, of joy, of shock, and the gate of death. These are what are called the eight inner gates. Their purpose is to limit the flow of chakra through the body. But the Lotus exerts tremendous pressure on these limiters, eventually forcing the gates open. This releases the restraints on the chakra, the result being that a person's strength can be increased tenfold or more. The primary Lotus opens only the first gate, the gate of opening, releasing the brain's restraints on the muscles. Freeing a person to bring forth its body's strength to its full extent. You've seen the results. And the hidden lotus? At the second gate, the gate of rest, one strength is increased further. And at the third gate, the gate of life, one enters the hidden lotus. Wait a minute. Just the primary lotus almost destroyed him. He could barely move. What's gonna happen to him if he takes it farther? Exactly. By opening all eight gates, you could attain power beyond even the Hokages. The only drawback is... I don't know what this boy means to you, Guy, but I shouldn't have to tell you that we never bring our personal feelings into play. I wouldn't have thought you were capable of this. You have no right. You know nothing about him. Nothing at all! That boy has something important to prove, and he's determined to prove it, even at the cost of his life. I want to show I can be a splendid ninja as well, even if I do not have ninjutsu or genjutsu. I want to prove it to the whole world! And I am determined to help him reach his goal. Not for his sake, 
but because that goal is worth reaching. All right, Lee. I'm going to be teaching you a new technique, so pay attention now. Okay, okay, enough of that. A new technique, a new technique, a new technique, a new technique. Lee! I said pay attention! Right, pay attention, yes, sir. Let me first just say one thing. This technique is even more forbidden than the primary lotus. It is not without danger, but it will be your trump card. It will? But listen, you can only use this forbidden technique on one condition. One very strict condition. And that is... And that is... you think you're planning right now, but this match is over for you. You are right. It is over. One way or another. Neji and Sasuke and... I am not going to be the only one to lose here. Guy Sensei, please let this work. It is now or never! To protect and maintain one's own ninja way! The third gate! Gate of life! Open! He's changing! Uh, he's turning red! Uh, What's it mean? What's happening? Uh, he's opened the third gate, the gate of life. Now he'll attack. Oh no, not yet. The fourth gate! Incredible. No one could do that through sheer effort alone. The boy's truly a genius. He's faster than ever. enough to protect him. Hiding behind that sand armor again, eh? Well, we will see about that! My armor... I can't withstand this bounding! It's crumbling away! You are a tough one! Try this! His muscles are tearing themselves apart! Is that really Lee? But when? How? <sighs> one more and we are finished! The fifth gate! Gate of closing! Open! No human could move like this. Impossible to defend myself. Are you watching, Neji? I was saving this ace in the hole to use against you! See what you have to look forward to? <laughs> Ugh. 
His sand shield can't keep up. He's in trouble. <gasps> the Hidden Lotus, a Taijutsu combination of such blinding speed that no one can defend himself against it. Not even Neji. Gara's sand shield is useless. Now to finish it! So fast, I couldn't see a thing. What's happening? The gourd is turning him to sand. Unbelievable! He did it! Gotta! Is it over? Huh? What's that? Down there! <sighs> Cushioned his fall by turning that gourd into sand. <laughs> I know what's coming now. Sand coffin. He not only survived the Hidden Lotus, he is able to go on the attack! Sand Coffin! I am not going to be the one who loses! I have my own ninja way! Because he's... <laughs> I am alright. Getting stronger all the time. The tuning exam. I am going to make you proud, Guy Sensei. I want to show I can be a splendid ninja as well. Even if I do not have ninjutsu or genjutsu. I want to prove it to the whole world. Because he's... He's my student. And also because he is precious to me. <clears throat> He's precious to him? A student? That's a sentiment that Gara couldn't even begin to understand. I quit. He what? He quit? 
quit? But it's too late for Lee. He lost the match the minute Guy intervened. The winner is... Uh huh? huh? You. Lee. Oh, Lee. What have I done? Look at you. Not even conscious. And still determined to show the world what you can do. He's out cold. Nothing keeping him up but sheer willpower. Lee... You've already proven it. You are a splendid ninja. The winner is Gara. Sympathetic words only make things worse. Hmm. I knew he couldn't beat Gata. Still, it was a lot tougher match than we thought. fractures and muscle tears throughout his body. He's facing a long and difficult rehabilitation. But I'm afraid that's not the worst of it. His left arm and leg in particular have suffered massive damage. I'm sorry, I know how much it means to you both. 
But he'll never fight again. His days as a shinobi are over. No. He's wrong. He's wrong. It can't be true. I get him first. This weirdo is mine. No, thank you. Right now, the only one I want to fight is Uchiha. What are you doing? Naruto, I get where you are coming from, believe me. But the rules say all fighting must be done officially in a match. The loser beating the gifted genius through sheer willpower. Now would not that make for an exciting match? Even if I am the one who is going to have to fight Neji. Lee. Oh, forgive me. I couldn't bear the thought of you losing. I wanted you to achieve your goal. To prove that your ninja way was the right way. Yes! I did it! I finally mastered the jutsu! Yes! 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 This jutsu, in the end only Lee could make it his own. As of today, you are all Genin. So now tell me, why have you done it? What are your goals? Hmm? How about me, Sensei? I want to show I can be a splendid ninja as well! Even if I do not have ninjutsu or genjutsu! I want to prove it to the whole world! It was all my fault. I should have stopped it. Oh, forgive me. Lee! It's not true. It can't be true. Easy for you to say it's over! What about Bushy Brow? What's he supposed to do now? Failure! I thought you said we could win! I thought you were gonna show how a failure can... It was all a lie, wasn't it? That's enough, Naruto. But Sensei, it isn't fair! All he ever wanted was to prove himself against Sasuke and Neji. And maybe that's what led to his downfall. He was so fixated on that goal that he sacrificed his body, his future, to attain it. Now that goal is unattainable. <laughs> but you're wrong about one thing, Naruto. It wasn't just Sasuke and Neji he was thinking of. It was you, too. That's right. He risked everything just for the hope of meeting you in combat. Remember that. Be worthy of his sacrifice. Lee, I wonder if he'll be all right. Lee, you didn't understand, even at the end. Fate will never smile on the fortunes of a ninja who seeks victory by falling on his own sword. Or demanding that others fall on theirs. Huh? So, the worst didn't happen after all. Good to have you back, Gata.